Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Friday, February 18th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, lots of great stuff are at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. And join us each week at 1030 a.m. for Sunday worship. My scripture today is from Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. The Lord God took us and put us in the Garden of Eden to work it and keep it. This is the word of the Lord. Well, we don't live in the Garden of Eden anymore, but God did charge us with being good stewards of the world that he created for us. Did you know that we are now, according to climatologists, biologists, and botanists, we are living in the sixth great mass extinction in Earth's history. And this extinction is galloping along at a more rapid rate than most of those before, including the extinction that wiped out the dinosaurs. And why is this happening? For many reasons. Primarily loss of habitat as human populations grow, but also pollution, uh, global warming, overfishing and overhunting, and uh, plastics in the ocean and so forth. Many of these factors have led to a pattern of extinction. I want to remind us not only that we're called to be stewards of this earth, but also that we are diminished by the loss of even one species. The world is a system and it works together. And we have the promise of plants and animals that may unlock for us secrets that will lead to better health care or longevity, more prosperity, the ability to feed people. Every time we lose a species, we lose possibilities. I pray that as we continue in this year, we will find it in our hearts to be better stewards, even if it means sacrificing a degree of prosperity, even if it means making choices that go against our politics or our uh, personal preferences. So let's take care of our world and let's see what we can do to at least slow down the sixth mass extinction in history. Let us pray. Lord, encourage us to be good stewards of your creation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.